This is the time. This is the season. This is the time for the unveilings. For the unveiling. Many more of these things will come. I will bring their revelation. This is the season to bruise the head of the serpent. You are in the time of peace. Covenant of peace will be made clear. The preaching of the gospel of peace. You have heard of the preaching of the gospel of righteousness. But see the Lord, I am raising an army that will have the feet and the sandals of peace. Who will bruise Satan? They will learn to bruise Satan. And their strength will be towards God. I find not say for the weapons of our warfare is mighty true God. True God and God of peace will shortly bruise Satan under your feet. Under your feet, this generation will not pass. There's going to be someone, some people who celebrate over the head of the dragon. His intelligence, his wiles, his wisdom will be brought to naught. As Jesus did to him. See of the Lord. Seeds of Abraham. Will be taught again. To sit on the throne. Everybody shout hallelujah. Death. Has already been conquered. Hmm. Death. Has already been conquered. That is it. But there will come. The second witness. The second witness. The second witness. The word of God triumphs over death. So life is possible. Life is attainable. Life is possible. Now, the second witness, it will take accessing the word to triumph over death. Only the word as the way. Only the, only the word as the antidote. There are different layers of death. And as the world is unveiled, you are being given power over each layer of death. You are being given power. A generation is coming that will not see death. A generation will be translated and will not see death. Will overcome death. It will be a company. I'm raising a church that will hold the key of life and exhibit the triumph of Christ over the grave. I'm raising that generation. You are that generation. There's that which has been locked up. There's that which has been sealed for a time, for such a time as this. There is the unlocking of the unspeak, unspeakable things by which death will be conquered. Now you won't be too in a hurry because it's not going to be haste. It's not going to be haste. Many people will go astray because they will not want to follow the path of honor, the path of discipline, the path of knowing, the path of learning, the path of becoming. As you become, you attain stature. It takes wisdom to conquer the power of death. And I bring you up to that place of wisdom. To that place of strength. The place of wisdom is a place of strength. It's a place of dying. It is by dying you attain resurrection. And death will have no power over you. This thing will become a commonplace operation in the body of Christ. The re there's a movement in the realm of the spirit. Deployment of grace. Deployment of power. Is towards driving all the purposes of God to the finish. The kingdom of God is in righteousness, in peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost.